Now, I want to say something picking from what Alton said. When it comes to sexual impurity, sexual immorality, there are a number of things. It starts very simply. It's like an ascending step order, right? The thing about it is, what you do tomorrow, the second step, you can never come back to the first step. If you're dating and you start by holding hands, you have permission. <laughs> if you start by holding hands, and that's what you've been doing for a while, and you've gone from holding hands to hugging and kissing, you will never go back. <laughs> hugging, yes. <laughs> you will never go back to simply holding hands. Yeah, yeah. If you have gone from holding hands to kissing, to hugging, and now beyond hugging, the hands are going to places they're not. You will never be able to simply go back to holding hands. So always cut yourself off before you get to a place of no return. Remember that you're only going on a slope. Slippery you know, have you ever run down a steep slope that even when you want to stop, you start screaming, hold me, hold me, you can't. You will never be able to take us and say today now we have been just there's this new thing i really have to say it apparently we both stay in our clothes and we go ahead until we pleasure ourselves they even gave it a name you're dressed i am dressed eh? dry humping that's what they call it that's what the young people that is how far the enemy has gotten something so beautiful and perverted it that if he can't get us you the christian if he can't get you by because the enemy masquerades like an angel of light mm -hmm. he knows that you know that sleeping with your friend is wrong so he will say you keep on your clothes it will be okay open your eyes my sister mm. it is not pastor Brian, so, just just one thing one like this so she's, she, has, she's, she has actually talked about something that is very very crucial so the thing with this thing is I want to advise my, my fellow young people out there because you can't, yeah, in here and out there, the ones that are watching, you guys, you cannot stay with a sugar cane as your walking stick. Does that make sense? Wala la mukubonga. So I'm still telling you guys, you can't stay with a sugar cane as a walking stick. What am I trying to imply? You can't stay close to your boyfriend, eh? And you think one day, things won't go down. Let me tell you something. As you're having that sugar cane as a walking stick, one day, at time T, you'll execute it. Eat it. Suck the juice out of it. So... We are ready for a break. Uh, <laughs> we are ready for a break. But I, I hope you hear the wisdom. I think what, in closing, what Rina and Alton, you know, are, are saying is, uh, let, let's let, let's have those boundaries. Now, uh, when we come back from the break, I want to ask about people who find no shame in talking about things they have done in the presence of others, even when they are not married. Because some people find no shame. They'll say, no, I can talk about it here. I can talk about it here. My parents are hearing and, uh, and, and they have a seared conscience. But have you taken a sugar cane and made it your walking? Ask your, neighbor. Ask, your neighbor. Ask your neighbor. As we jump into the break, we're going to come and pick it up from there. And during the break... 